Welcome to Make. I'm Tyler and today we're going to do something a little bit different. A few weeks ago we got to stop by the Oakland meetup of DIY Robocars, a gathering of autonomous car enthusiasts who aren't content to wait for Google or Tesla to develop the technology so they're ready to jump in feet first and start developing their own technology. Let's check it out. So I'm Chris Anderson. Um, I do a bunch of things by day. I run 3DR, uh, the drone company. Um, I uh, have this hobby of starting kind of robotics communities. So 10 years ago, I started DIY drones, which then turned into 3DR, I industrialized that one. And it just feels like it's time to do it again um, with the next challenge, which is cars. So um, I started another group called DIYRoboCars.com. And uh, the whole point is once again to be sort of the homebrew computing club for an industry where you have big companies doing you know, really sophisticated stuff, but there's an opportunity for amateurs, DIYers, makers, uh, to participate in a way that's cheap, easy, and fun. So today, we are in West Oakland in a warehouse um, where earlier today we had a hackathon race of autonomous cars. Uh, these, cars these cars are small, they're cheap, uh, they're kind of hacked together, um, but the point is that they're using much of the same software sensor techniques as uh, Tesla or, or, or uh, a Google autonomous car. You know, all the car companies will all have autonomous car projects full of PhDs. Why are we, why are we bothering, you know, reinventing the wheel? And the answer is, um, is that uh, that's exactly what people said when we did DIY drones. It's like the aerospace industry has been making drones for, for decades, um, but they weren't cheap. They weren't available to regular people. They weren't fun. They weren't easy. So this bottoms-up approach, and there's a long tradition in Silicon Valley of the kind of the homebrew version of, of industries. And the reason you do it is that when you come bottoms up, you actually end up in a different place than when you come top down. So let me give you an example. Um, responsible car companies are going to optimize around safety. We're dealing with little cars right now. We're not optimizing around safety. We're optimizing around, let's say, cheap, or we're optimizing around fun or aggressiveness in the case of, in the case of racing. Um, and so by being amateurs, by not having humans involved, um, by not being, um, you know, by not kind of coming at this with a sort of first we must like it, make them like super pro and then we can go on the street, we hope to end up in a different place. We hope to actually be able to innovate. So you start with, you know, some, some very simple chassis. Um, you know, you can get these little robot chassis for, you know, less than $100 on Amazon. Um, so that's just like the motor, the motor drivers, etc. cetera. Um, then on top of that, we typically put a Raspberry Pi, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, um, it has to be something can stream video, so typically Arduino is not enough. But then all the key stuff is all, is all software. And that is, um, and that's just stuff running, open source stuff running on, on your laptop. So that'll be OpenCV, it'll be TensorFlow, it'll be ROS. And if you run it on your laptop with the, you know, with just the data streaming to it, um, you have uh, just these extraordinary tools. Now, of course, this doesn't scale to the real world, right? In the real world, you can't run over Wi-Fi. But there's no reason why that, that architecture you set up with a, a robot, you know, with a camera streaming data to Wi-Fi to a laptop, just put the laptop on board a real car, and the exact same architecture works. Uh, so I've uh, just uh, set up a site, a uh, sort of sister site to DIY drones called DIYRoboCars.com. Um, and so that's where we're going to be just documenting the build logs, um, the list of all the software and hardware and sort of, you know, helping you get started. Uh, and, uh, and we also have meetups. Um, so there's a meetup group that's also called DIY Robocars. And um, we'll have mail lists and all that sort of thing. But start with that site and you'll go from there.